as we go into quarantine, we realise that nature around us has little to no human maintenance. So we took that an, as an inspiration. Personally, I enjoy most when presenting to the mentors when we were making our graphics. But when we start presenting and they give us feedback, it gives us like more motivation to pull through and work on our mistake. I guess it's more of the team building with my friends because we are all from different specialisations. One of the most biggest difference is that our meetings with them were done online. That kind of shaped how we could communicate with them and made it more objective in, in terms of what we were looking at. The, the students have done incredibly well, especially in these challenging conditions. Uh. I think the, the immediacy of like, meeting the students and talking about the work is sort of gone because now we are actually facing 50 students on a Google Meetup call. They tackle on like the hard issues of the trials and tribulations of pandemic living. But what was manifested visually were three beautiful pieces which kind of like gave a very in-depth, uh, stylized interpretation of issues such as uh, mental health, isolation and etc. We heard the word passages was an ocean passage to another dimension. I want the audience to feel as if they are experiencing their own personal passage through the ocean. Because uh, it starts off with them walking through on the beach and going towards the foot of the ocean. Meaning life is full of uh, unknown obstacles upcoming in the near future. Our work is called Tactile Fusion. Tactile Fusion is kind of focusing on technology dominant society where a lot of people depend on like their laptops or their phones. So the title of our work is Gong Chuan, which means coexistence. And we wanted to portray the idea of the coexistence between traditional roots and technology. Talk about the process of being isolated in this uh, COVID period. The concept and idea is going for is uh, during this COVID-19, people are like encouraged to stay indoor and like, avoid human contact as much as possible. Basically, people are like made to contact and like feel affection towards each other. And without that, you feel isolated with your own thoughts. We were inspired by the concept of the orchid and why Singapore chose the orchid as its national flower. I think all the students perform really well. There's a vast difference between looking at your work on screen and seeing it actually on the surface. Just like the rest, I'm very, very proud of the Nanyang Poly students. Victoria Theatre as a facade is such an odd shaped facade, but the students really took on the challenge and managed to tell uh, beautiful stories, visual narratives on Victoria Theatre itself. Having to take part in this project, I feel that it is one of the biggest milestones I've ever experienced because never would I imagine that my work with the teammates will be projected onto a large-scale building for the public to see.